welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. All right, friends, one more as we look at Colossians 3, verses 22 through 25 and what it means to exalt Christ as our work. The third point that we talked about on Sunday is that we work, if we're going to exalt Christ in our work, we need to do our work resting in the judgment of Christ. He brings that home in the last verse of this passage where he says, For he who does wrong will receive the consequences of the wrong which he has done, and that without partiality. As he's giving the instructions to the slaves with regard to how to honor Christ in their response to their earthly masters, which is obedience uh, in verse 22, he reminds them that God will judge all things. And, and it's almost as we talked about on Sunday, as if Paul uh, understands, expects, and answers the obvious objection. What about if I have a boss or a, a master that is um, that is unfair, that is unjust, that does wrong to me? Well, in that, we rest in the judgment of the Lord. We trust in Him to bring all things level. We trust in Him that someday He is going to judge the living and the dead, and He will bring all things under His judgment. And that should give us a bit of a fear and trembling. That should give us a great thankfulness that the Lord has paid for our pardon. He has taken that punishment for the wrongdoing we have done, but it also gives us rest to understand even as we face trials, even at work, as, as we face uh, unfair bosses, unfair masters, as it were, Christ will bring that under judgment and we can rest in his perfect judgment. What a great comfort this is to us, friends. And I pray particularly if you're dealing with a work situation that's unfair, that you're treated poorly, that you will be able to rest today in the great judgment of Christ. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Grace Today. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church of Elgin, Texas, and how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.